Alright, so far um, I've gotten a lot of requests on how to make the mech walk. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and make a tutorial real fast. You can see here that I've been using, uh, obviously, tow bars to get everything to move. I'm going to move this out of the way real fast. Uh, so you can kind of see the, uh, the body, the legs, and then the feet. And you can see here i got some jets. I'll talk about more of that in a second. Move these. <clears throat> Alright, you see here we got a tow bar, uh, a couple of jets, tow bars on the foot, the leg. I have one tow bar going down, uh, connected to the foot, and one tow bar going horizontal at the, uh, I guess the hip, you see here. Um, Pretty easy. Anyway, move this out of the way you can see. I got all these uh, panels here to kind of keep the leg from twisting and turning too much uh, so you don't get your legs all twisted. Um, so you see there, there's a little tow bar sitting there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this right back up. And you see it connect right in there. And there's a. Uh, I got these panels here. I, so these panels kind of keep it from uh, going overextending. I'm gonna put that right back, cover it up so it doesn't pop out of socket. Make sure you use panels that don't touch. You don't want the, anything from the body touch anything on the leg, or anything from the foot touch anything on the leg. I want it to be completely independent. And you see here, I got the, uh, the propeller. That little propeller there, without an engine, will keep the entire main body stable. Um, it's a little trick to know uh, that the, the propeller without any engine will keep anything completely stable. Otherwise, the whole thing would just collapse over and fall on itself. Most of this here is just for aesthetics. Make it look cool. Guns, ammo, stuff like that. And then you got your feet here. Um, obviously, with all these panels, make sure, again, to make sure that nothing gets out of you know, in the way. I think it's extending. And um, look here, I have on your left foot, I have jets facing backwards. A jet facing down and jet facing backwards. And then I have these propellers here. One of them, um, the one that you want to use as your left trigger, have it as a uh, pull or push, not bad. No, oh, hold on, let me see. Uh, yeah, push. And then on your right foot, for your right trigger, do pull. That way, whenever you use the right trigger, you accelerate. Accelerating will push your left leg down and your right leg up, and then going in reverse will do the exact opposite, put your left leg forward and your right leg pulling down. We'll see more of that in here in a second, I'm going to paint these real fast. Alright. So here we are, standing here, kind of, you can move around while we... Um, you see here I'm accelerating, and my right leg is glowing, obviously, with my jets, wanting to go forward and up. So, lift, shifting my weight slightly to one side will release the pressure from that foot, allowing it to move. There's a lot of weight on there, so you gotta kinda wiggle your left analog stick to kinda shift your weight. It looks kinda awkward until you get the hang of it, I'm still kinda practicing with this. Kind of a pain in the ass, but it still works. Anyway. Right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, and left trigger. Um, kind of shift your weight forward, kind of push that weight, you know, move it. And that's pretty much how I get to walk. It does like to go pigeon-toed, I don't know why I'm trying to work on that, but it's, it's doing alright here. Um, I changed the design of the foot to kind of make it look a little less, you can see here, you got the big pointed toes sticking out, but um, Anyway, that's basically it. Uh, everything else is up to you. You can make a better walking vehicle. This one's more for multifunction, uh, to have guns and walking, make it look cool. But um, with a little more work, you can easily walk, no problem. Left trigger, right trigger, so on and so forth. And uh, that's it.